Hi everyone, this is Fisher Coda here. Today we're going through another problem, lead code 1086, high five. A very interesting problem. Um, so the problem states, okay, before we dive in, please do me a favor and gently hit the like button. It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe our of, to our channel, which is very dedicated to provide high quality lead code tutorials to help our lead fellow um, lead coders to prepare for um, coding interviews and brush up on data structures and, al and algorithms. All right, with that said, let's start diving into the problem. Given the list of scores of different students, return the average score of each student's top five scores. That's what it means by high five. Top five scores in the order of each student's ID. All right, each entry items I has items I0, which is the student's ID, and items I1, which is the student's score of one particular subject. The average score is calculated using integer division. Let's look at one example. We're given this 2D dimensional array, which the first, um, the first element of one subarray is always the student's integer. You see, it's, there's only one and two in these, um, in these arrays, so, which means there are two students with ID one and two. And we calculate the top five scores of each student. For example, for student with ID one, the top five score is going to be 87. We only calculate the top five. If the student has more than five, we will sort it and then we get the top five scores and then do the integer division to mark as the average score of this student. For student two, it has only five scores, so which is good. We'll just sum up all of them and do average. That's basically the problem. Very straightforward as well. So the idea that naturally comes into mind is basically we can have a map. Um, the key of the map is going to be the student's ID and the value of the map is going to be either a list or basically it's going to be a collection which holds all of the students, this particular student's scores. And then with that data structure, basically uh, we'll loop through this 2D array first and construct this data structure, this uh, map data structure. After we constructed this map data structure, we can further calculate the average top five scores of this student and then put them into the final result. And then it comes to which data, which map is the best. Um, notice that one of the requirements of this problem is that it's asking us to return the results in the order of each student's ID. And the student's ID are marked as one, two, three, four, five, etc which is in increasing order. So which map comes, into, comes in very handy, which give us, gives us the key as in increasing order? Well, very straightforward is tree map, right? Tree map provides this functionality that all of the keys of this tree map is going to be guaranteed in sorted order. So we're going to use tree map. And then we mentioned that the value of this map is going to be a collection a collection of all of the scores of a particular of a particular student, right? And then also we want the top five scores of each student, which means we want all of the scores of any student to be in sorted order as well. So a collection and a list, which collection could give us sorted order and possibly in reverse sorted order? We could simply use a Java array list and then we could take it out and sort it, use and log in time, right? The other way is that we can use priority queue, which is a max heap, um, which is going to give us this sorted functionality. Then we can just, uh, and also we'll limit the size of the heap to be exactly five because we care only about the top five scores of every student. With that said, it's very straightforward. After we build the tree map with key to be integer type, which stands for the ID of the student, and the value is going to be a priority heap, priority queue, which is going to hold all of the students, uh, which going to hold all of a particular student's scores, so that we can take all of the top five scores of each student and do the average. Very straightforward.
algorithm. All right, with that said, with the algorithm explained, let's start diving into the code. So first, we're going to use a tree map. Tree map, as I said, the integer. Uh, the key is going to be integer, which stands for the student's ID, and the value is going to be a priority queue. It's going to be a collection which provides solid order. In this case, we're going to use priority queue. Priority queue, which holds all of the integers, which are the student's score. We'll call it a tree map. New tree map. And then we'll iterate through this item. Int item items to build this tree map, which is the first one is going to be ID the first element of this uh, 1D array is going to be the student's ID and the second item, there are only two items in each of these 1D array, is going to be the student's score of a particular subject, let's assume. And then we'll build We'll build this tree map. If tree map contains key, key is going to be the ID of the students, which means we have encountered this student's ID before. So we're just going to get it out, get the priority queue out. Let's call it this. Uh, let's call it heap. We'll get the tree map out. Get ID. And then we'll put the, the new score in score, which means we offer, we encountered another score of this particular student. We're going to offer this score into the heap. And then we will also check in case if the heap size is greater than five. That means we can safely pop heap pull we're just going to pull the top one out of this heap. The top one is the smallest one, which is we don't care anymore, right? Remember, the problem is asking us to return the top five scores. So the top one of this heap is, is going to be the smallest one. So we're just going to pop it off on top of the heap. Okay, and then with this heap boot, well, which is unlikely in this case, because this is a heap that we just built. It's only going to have one element. Um, that's going to be the, the other case in the else branch. And then we're going to put this ID and heap into this tree map. And then if, okay, let's walk through this again. If it contains it, we'll get it. Oh, okay, actually we need it. It's going to be heap size greater than five Oops, size greater than five. We're going to just pull this off and then put it back. Put this heap, the changed heap, possibly changed heap, back into the tree map. If it does, it does contain it. We'll just get it. If it doesn't contain it, if it doesn't contain, let's copy it here. We'll just create priority queue. We we'll just create a new one and offer this score into this heap. And then we'll put this ID and heap into this tree map. All right. After this for loop, we have constructed the tree map, which contains all of the necessary information for us to render the final result. Then we're going to go through this tree map. Key map, key set. We go through all of its keys. We're going to get key, and then we'll get tree map. Tree map get ID. We'll get all of the heaps of every single student, which holds the top five scores of every student. And then we'll have another variable called sum while heap is empty. While well, heap is not empty, we'll just keep pulling it and sum all of them up. And then what we will have is, okay, I forgot this, we need another 
uh, we'll just call it result, which, go, which is going to hold all of the result of our uh, final result. Then this is going to be tree map size. And uh, the, uh, the number of columns is going to be two only, because one is the student's ID, the second one is the student's top five average scores. And then here we'll have the result uh, ID minus one, because remember, the student's ID starts from one. However, our array index always starts from zero. So we'll minus one, and then we'll get ID. And then result here is going to be ID minus one as well. But here is one, which means the second column of this array is going to be sum divided by five. Actually, it can be that because there is, remember, there is a note for each student. There are at least five scores, so we can simply use five instead of the size of the heap. All right, that's it. And we're going to return result. That's basically the algorithm. Let's submit and see. All right, it's accepted. Uh, very clear and uh, easy to understand. Um, the reason we chose a tree map is because tree map, um, other than regular hash maps, it provides the functionality of, a so of its sorted by its key. And then why do we use priority queue? Because we would like to have a collection to hold each student's all subject scores. And priority queue provides this nice feature of sorting, right? And then the first for loop, we're just going through this given items to the array, which helps us to build the tree map. And then the second for loop, which is helping us to build the result after, after we iterate through the tree map that we just built. Very easy and straightforward, but it, uh, it's, if you get asked during a real interview, this is a very good problem to poke your understanding of very basic data structures, for example, tree map and priority queue. And you might get asked about time complexity and the space complexity of your algorithm, which is very good. Uh, so again, if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We keep publishing new, fresh uh, Decode tutorials or any other tech tutorials on a daily basis. Um, that's going to help with the YouTube algorithm a lot. Um, again, I really appreciate your, your watching. And please leave me any feedback, comments, questions, concerns, advice down below in the description. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.